Hey everybody, this is Landon from Farm Boy Brew Shop and I am here today to teach you how to read a hydrometer. Um, this is a very poor, important part of brewing as it tells us how much alcohol is actually possibly in the, uh, in the mix that we're making as well as if fermentation is complete which will affect bottle bombs and other things blowing up which we don't want. Um, there's a couple of different kinds of hydrometers. Uh, usually you'll find the triple scale hydrometers like this or like this. This is a little bit older one that we've got sitting in here so it doesn't have the color coding. But on this one you'll notice all the different colors so it gives you the different ranges that you might have to be in um, for whatever you're making whether it be wine or beer. Today we've got some wine in here that we just racked a secondary so we went ahead and pulled a sample to teach you. Um, a couple of things about the hydrometer. This is a triple scale hydrometer so you'll see this scale is the specific gravity. It's also got the uh, Plato scale, and then it also has the alcohol by volume scale right there. The one that we want is the specific gravity. Usually you'll notice it is the one that is 0 .000. Um, it'll go all the way down to the thousandths um, place. So when you read a hydrometer, usually we'll drop the first two digits so it's like 1.000, like that. For us, we just say that's zero, zero. Uh, moving down, when you actually read it later, you'll notice that this scale doesn't even have the first two digits on there. So it'll be 60 is 1.060, um, not just 60, or we'll just say 60. Um, so moving on to actually reading one, what you'll want to do is fill your hydrometer up with enough liquid so that the hydrometer can float. If it's not floating, then it'll just sit on the bottom and give you a bad reading. Um, also, it's a good idea to spin the hydrometer so that any gas bubbles that are connected will uh, you know, fly off so that the, it doesn't float the hydrometer you know, out of your range. So going back to high school chemistry class, we read at the meniscus, you know, the top it kind of curves like this, so that's where you're reading it at. So we'll give it a little bit of a spin. Um, and we're looking for this scale right there, which is the specific gravity right there. You'll see it coming around. Might come around one more time. But right here, reading at the menis meniscus, it looks like it's right at 1.000. So it is dry, it is done. Um, you very rarely will go below that. If, you're, if you have a higher alcohol, then it will actually float because alcohol is uh, less dense than water. That's why the hydrometer changes. When we first start the process, we were right around this range, somewhere around in here. And then as the fermentation process keeps going, the lower and lower the specific gravity gets until we're done. That's how you read a hydrometer. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to go to our website at www.farmboybrewshop.com. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all those other things. And have a good day. This, once again, this is Landon from Farm Boy Brew Shop.